Today, let's talk about the very rare corporate blue, or better known petty blue Superbird. In 1970, the Superbird came out. They made roughly a little less than 2,000. No one knows the exact number, but it's estimated there are about 50 corporate blue or petty blue Superbirds that were made. Now, the way you can determine a petty blue Superbird, if it was made that way at the factory, is go underneath the uh, hood and on the fender tag, which will be over on the driver's side near the battery, there's uh, six lines on that fender tag. You'll see the number 999. Now, that code 999 was Chrysler's code that this was a special paint color. If you go three lines down, you'll see the code C37D. That apparently is Chrysler's um, acknowledgement that not only is this a special color, but that this is going to be the corporate blue or what we nowadays call the petty blue number. The very bottom on the right hand side, you'll see the serial number, the VIN number, RM23V0A172660. The RM23 stands for a Superbird. The V means that it's an original six pack car. And then the 172660 is the serial number of the car. And you look at the one, two, three, four, fifth line, go to the far right and you see the J. And ours is J99533. Well, all Petty Blue Superbirds have a J number. The first one is around 99,500. This one is 99,533. It's estimated they made about 50 of them. This uh, Petty Blue Bird is a very rare Petty Blue, one of 50. And it's one of an estimated 20 six-pack cars. A six-pack meaning three two-barrels. This has been called the single finest unrestored example bird. It's got uh, original paint, fenders, uh, engine, everything. It's never been restored. Um, it's got a couple of unique options on it. It's got a rim blow horn, which uh, I've never seen before in a bird or a satellite or a roadrunner for that matter. Um, having worked at a Chrysler dealership, Back in the day, I can tell you they are royal pain in the rear. On all Superbirds, you have the special jack. All birds had two jacks, one for the bumper, conventional bumper jack, and then one for the nose, uh, and a special handle that goes with that nose jack. The history of this Superbird, this one was uh, originally sold in Tennessee, uh, did not get sold, and was dealer transferred over to uh, Crowder Motors in Tennessee, where it passed through a couple of hands over the years, ending up in the Tim Wellborn Museum down in Alabama. And then I got it at the Mecham auction because I was looking for a Petty Blue Bird to uh, maybe complete my collection. The uh, car's got about 25,000 miles. It is unrestored, white interior, black vinyl top, blue car, as you see all that stuff, uh, very nice condition. We've had to repair a couple of minor things, burned out bulbs and a blown fuse and things like that. but. Nothing of any consequence, so we're real proud of this one. If you really want to know a little bit more about them, a friend of mine named Brennan Cook has a website on the Petty Birds. It's brcook.com, and he's got a real good website with information on Petty Blue Birds. We are going to have this Petty Blue Bird at the Chrysler Nationals under the Survivor Tent in July of 2022 at their request. Come by, say hello. We love to talk cars. And uh, we love uh, talking Superbirds in particular, of course, or Daytonas. And uh, for today, that'll end our Petty Blue Superbird discussion on this uh, winged wonder. And I'm Bob Jennings. I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, everyone.